Hello everybody. So I'm making a sort of reboot of For Science. It's um, it, I just wanted to see how easy it would be, how fast it would go. And the answer is, it's very easy and it goes very fast. So I wanted to show you the power of Unity events. Most people, I think, are really underestimating Unity events. Uh, and I wanted to show you just how powerful they can be and how I can put this whole thing together in just a couple of hours because of Unity events. Now the basic flow is that science gets created over here at the lab desk and then it gets pushed over here to our cubicle guy. The cubicle guy reads it and then sorts it and in a moment he'll send it over to the writing desk and then the writing desk guy will write up a paper. It's a chain of events that's fairly complicated. Uh, but it's super, super simple for me to create all of this, and I wanted to show you how I used Unity events to create it all. Also, I used that paper thing where the paper is actually physical paper. Anyhow, the Unity events cycle. So this science desk here is actually something called a data producer. And you can see it's got some variables, the kinds of thing it is, the kind of science it creates, all that stuff. But um, I wanted to show you all of these events. Now these are all Unity events that I created. And so they're on paper produced, on Max data stack, and all that stuff. So we've got all of these arbitrary events. And the one that is most notable here is on Max data stack reached. It goes, okay, cubicle. Can you pipe the? Can you pipe a stack? Well, my stack that is. So I've said I'm gonna go target the cubicle and tell, going to tell it to pipe a stack, and I'm gonna give it my stack. So I've just made an event that says, okay, cubicle, take all my stuff when I get full, because I call on max data stack when I get full. The cubicle over here, it has, it's got all these inputs. So when it takes inputs, it automatically starts to process them, and when it's maxed out and has processed everything, it runs these two functions data pipe sort input stack, that's mine, and data pipe pipe to output, that's mine again. Down here we have on output, and that happens once I pipe it to the output, it then calls the on output, and that does the same pipe stack, but it does it for, to the desk rather than to the, to the cubicle, obviously. And then over here on the desk, notice this is a data pipe script. This is also a data pipe script. Used to be that the desk and the cubicle were two completely different sets of scripts. They were descended from this from this monstrous class and it was all like this dangly crap. Super annoying. Now they're just the same the same exact class because I specify what functions they call on their events. And in this case I just say, well when you're done processing all that shit, turn it into a scientific paper. Just call the function that turns it into a paper. So it runs fine. And that lets me create all of these things really, really quickly and really powerfully. Later on, if I want to add more functionality, I can just add another function and then put it into these events. Super straightforward. Mmm, there's another step to it. These lines are actually created algorithmically. What happens is I trawl through all of the events and I say, well, for each of the functions that's specified in the event, find who the target is and draw a line to them. This kind of line. And so that means that if I change it, it will automatically draw to the next guy and the next guy and the next guy and the next guy all correctly. And uh, that's done because the events are now transparent. When, when it first came out, they weren't transparent and that was really obnoxious, but now they're super transparent. And you can do this sort of adaptive thing where you can look at the events and you can trace them. You can also set them up live in the game, uh, which I haven't gotten around to yet, but obviously if you were clicking around, you'd be setting the output and the input and all that stuff. So I just wanted to show you how quick and easy this was. In the previous version of the game, this was a nightmare. All of this was just super obnoxious. I think it took me three or four days. It was really a lot of work. Um, not like a huge amount of work, but it was all this kludgy crap where I had to specify targets and uh, and I had to calculate all this stuff out and it was miserable to try and remember how everything worked all the time. Now it just works uh, and I can change it very, very straightforward, very, very easy. So if you aren't using Unity events, maybe consider trying them. They're a lot more powerful than you might think.